Hi everyone and welcome to my version of the Earth Day collaboration. Now this Earth Day collaboration was organised by my friend uh, Nate Bright who is not only a fantastic artist but also such a such a lovely man. Thank you so much for doing this for us Nate, I really appreciate it. Now, if you haven't checked out the other artists in the collaboration, I'll pop the links in the description box below. So do go and take a look. Right. So I am doing, um, I guess you could call it a tree swipe, but not really. And uh, as you can see, the canvas is rather large. Um, I don't know it in inches, but it is three feet across. It's 100 centimeters by 120. And what I've done here is um, I've put on some uh, texture paste already. Actually, it is um, um, a heavy gel by Amsterdam because I couldn't get hold of the, um, the structure or the texture paste. But I think that will work just as fine. And I just did the uh, tree outline. Actually, I'll show you um, a sort of sped up version of what happened there and then I'll take you in to have a look at the paints I'll be using. So just a quick look at the uh, texture when I've just applied it. Um, that time lapse was about um, roughly 15, maybe 20 minutes altogether with the uh, prepping as well. So I love the way that silicone wedge has, uh, with the sweeping motion, creates this um, undulating, real nice, subtle, but very noticeable texture. So yeah i'm really looking forward to uh letting this or getting to this once it's dry i have um i haven't used the heavy um gel medium for texture before so i'll just have to again very very patiently yeah right wait to see how long it takes to dry and uh, then i can get to painting i'll see you then so while i wait for this um sort of ground uh texture to dry, I've decided to do a little sketching for for the scenery. So yeah, let's just go ahead and go ahead and do that. much I think <laughs> done here. Uh, I am going to bring you in to have a look at the tree from closer up. I think it's quite cool. Okay so there is the tree. <laughs> I like it. I like the roots there. Hint, hint the name. <laughs> and yeah I think that worked out really well. I can't wait to pour on this and then uh, then finish the tree eventually so now it's just a waiting game for this for this all to dry okay so the colors i'll be using i've really had a hard time arriving at a color scheme this time around i think it's partly because i'm in the middle of selling my house and i have to keep everything so tidy and it's been slightly driving me nuts that I can't make a mess and just sort of mix colours and come up with stuff. But I finally got there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I decided to go for sort of um, uh, earthy but metallic and pearly colour uh, combination this time. So first of all, my big bucket of uh, base paint. This is uh, what I like to think of sort of... Um, dark chocolate colour. It's um, a mix of Amsterdam Oxide Black and Amsterdam Carmine Red. 
Right. And then um, my first swipe um, on the sort of uh, above ground, so to say, I think, think what I'll be using is a pearl yellow. That's an Amsterdam color. And then my second round of swipe is going to be, I will layer down, um, this is Winsor & Newton Gold, a beautiful, really, really shimmery, shiny gold color. And then this beautiful, beautiful sort of reddish brown. Um, this is a mix of Amsterdam Deep Gold, uh, Winsor & Newton Gold, Deco Art Metallics in Berry and Deep Sapphire. And then I have this one here. This is, um, again, Deco Art Metallics Rose Gold uh, mixed with Amsterdam Copper. Love that color. And then what do I have? I have a Pearl Violet, just to give it a little bit of a contrast. And then my non-metallic here, which is Amsterdam Titanium Buff Deep. And I've darkened it just a little bit with uh, Burnt Umber Amsterdam as well. And then I have a whole bunch of uh, uh, sort of spreading and swiping tools that I'll be using. Uh, some palette knives, should I need them. So, yeah, what can you say? All I have to do now is go make sure my canvas is level in all directions. And then I can get to painting. Well, I just about managed to fit this <laughs> canvas on my uh, the spare bit of my uh, uh, home studio and painting studio floor. I was a bit worried that I might not fit it here. So, yeah, um, it's upside down from me because I want to be swiping in this direction first. Then, with the help of my brother, who's graciously promised to help me out today, we'll flip it around and I'll do the bottom the ground part there so what I'll do is I'm going to start with the uh, base paint of course um, I'll put some music on for you and I will speed this up because I've got a feeling I am going to be here best part of an hour so yeah I will speak to you once I'm done with this bit Oops, I just realised I managed to get the camera a bit wonky there. Sorry about that. And I've just made a couple of decisions on the fly. Um, I really like what's happening with the uh, pearl yellow and uh, pearl violet, especially from this direction where the light's hitting it. So I am not going to do the second layer of uh, swiping there. But instead, I'm going to use those uh, custom mixed colours in the ground here so yeah i'll just get on with that next and then i also realized i can't really see the uh, tree outline all that well so i might actually paint that part once the uh the rest of it is dry but we'll see in a second <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I think I'm done. I am really not sure about the tree part because I just couldn't see the shapes through the paint. So if necessary, I'll just touch it up once the painting is dry. Uh, yes, my socks are completely ruined. <laughs> I wore some old holy ones for this for this very purpose. So I'm just going to give this one more torch, um, do some some a lot of tidying up and then I'll bring you in for a close up. Phew, right, I am done. <laughs> that was hard work, but providing this dries well, I think it was uh, an hour well spent. Well, quite a few hours considering the paint mixing and the uh, preparing and supporting the canvas from underneath. Right, uh, yeah, sorry about it being upside down, but I'm just not gonna touch it now. And just fingers crossed it dries, dries well. Sorry about the shadow, but I think that purple and yellow pearl paints will look amazing when they're dry. And there's some really gorgeous cell action going on in the ground bit there. But yeah, all there is to do now is fingers crossed. Oh, quickly check out those cells there. Gorgeous, aren't they? So yeah, fingers crossed, everything crossed, and I will be back with the dried results. And here's the final dried results. I love the way this turned out, especially the yellow and purple together. I think it looks amazing. And those cells there, wow. And oh yeah, we finally have some decent daylight here in Finland so I'm actually outside with this which is pretty cool after a long 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 winter. <laughs> I love the way the ground worked out. Now the tree. I didn't quite um, hit it right <laughs> so I might go in and do some maybe gold leaf later or something like that but yeah overall I'm so so happy with this. But I'd love to hear what you think. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and leave me a like and a comment if you don't mind. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.